Shalom, Brother Kabat, begging that GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Badash, the Ba'anish, to our apostles and elders, great millstone, teaching us his truth according to the Bible and Ruel. I know Shalom, all the sincere I keep the four point of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity and in charity. And, um, I know Shalom to all your sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, not just hears of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children are hopeful you like Shalom. Came across this article in Business Insider. It says Elon Musk, who wants to put C H I P S in people's brains, says Unabomber, who died last week, might not be wrong that the tech is bad for humanity. <clears throat> And it's 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 funny that um to me that people who don't consider themselves you know Israelites can see the prophecies can see the things <clears throat> that um that are written because this is Bible prophecy man all right and it, it reads on um. Uh, Ted, I'm just going to call his name Ted, I'm not trying to pronounce his last name. The Unibi, uh died in prison on Saturday, this past Saturday. Elon Musk tweeted he might not be wrong and believe that technology is bad for humanity. And, you know, we know it's wrong, all right? And for the ones of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, you Israelites, and you Israelite foreigners who see long goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on your father's side, who are scattered amongst these nations, we're not supposed to be taking this mark, M-A-R-K, okay, as we're going to get into. It says, Elon Musk tweet that he might not be wrong, and his belief that technology is bad for humanity, and, and, and it is, you're not supposed to... Uh, <clears throat> You know, be making any uh, types of uh, cuttings in your flesh. All right. Um, this is Leviticus. Bring that up. 19 and uh, 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Okay. It says, for the dead nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. And when you, you take this uh, M to the A to the R to the K, all right, it's a cutting in your flesh, all right? So we're not probably making any types of cuttings. Now, we know, uh, you know, there's kind of exceptions to the rules. Jake may need, may need surgery or things of that nature, all right? But at the end of the day, we're not supposed to be making any types of uh, cuttings in our flesh. Why well, I think a lot of our women are being judged for uh, these uh, uh, body makeovers. Okay? These BBLs and things of that nature. These tummy tucks. Okay? Because that is against what the Heavenly Father prescribes for us Israelites. Alright? But um, let's not digress. Let's go back. It says, <clears throat> Musk has a long sought massive technological advancements like self-driving cars and B A R I N C H I P S is for humans. And um <clears throat> the book of Revelation goes into that. And um you know we're gonna get into that. Um uh, let's see if I want any more of this. Nah. So let's get into Revelation chapter 13. Yes, we're gonna continue to talk about it. <clears throat> All right. And, and warn their people. Let our people know. This is uh, Revelation 13. And I'm starting 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Okay? Talking spiritually. Jumping down. Verse 16. Alright, it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, that he is the elite banking families. Alright, the shadow of government, the ones that are, are running things behind the scenes. All right, Biden is not running anything, okay? Uh, uh, Harris is not running anything. And all these other uh, 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 prime ministers and presidents across the earth, they don't run nothing, man. All right? <clears throat> they take orders. 
from the ones behind the scenes, the ones that don't want to be known, okay? It says, uh, like the Rockefellers, okay, Rothschild, they don't want to be known, but they're being exposed. It says they're the ones, all right, that's going to uh, cause all because they have the power. According to Job 9 and 24, the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. Malachi 1 and 4, uh, uh, Edom is the border of wickedness. And this is wicked what they're uh, prescribing for the, for the people. Mainly you Israelites, man. It doesn't matter if you're small, nobody in society, or you're great, or you have a great name out here, a so-called great name. Athletes, entertainers, the so-called leaders of our people, or you're just someone on, on the streets of America. Barely making it. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor. You got some type of FRN notes. Some, you know, property, whatever the case may be. So-called things of value. Or if you're poor, you don't have anything. Free. So-called free. Because none of us are free. Reboot. The third chapter about that. We are yet this day in our captivity. All right. We're still slaves upon Esau Edom. <clears throat> it's an bond. Those that are behind bars, all right, they're locked up. Doesn't matter who you are. He's going to cause all to receive a mark, M A R K, in their right hand or in their what? Foreheads. In their foreheads. All right, Elon Musk wants to put C H I P S inside people's B R A I N S. Might not be wrong. <laughs> That the tech is bad for humanity. It is. It is bad. Okay, and that's why you know the water you have watching me. I was shy that we're not ignorant of this man's devices, his wicked device. Because this is what his wicked devices, man. We're not ignorant because the Lord has revealed His secret unto His servants, the prophets. Amos the third chapter, as I quoted Second uh, Corinthians, uh, the eleventh chapter, man. The water you have watching me. I shall fly teachers. So reading on verse 17, here's the point, and that no man might buy or sell. How 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 do we uh get through things on a daily basis? We're buying, we're selling, all right, to make a living, to provide for ourselves, okay? It says, save he that also the stock is save he that had the M-A-R-K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So you're not going to be able to participate really in society, in society unless you have that M, the A, the R to the K. When you go into that word in the blue letter, it's uh, Karagma. All right? It's Karagma. All right. Um, it's really 13. All right. Let's get that real fast. Get in the blue light on my mind. So let's see. Have uh, right Strong's G fifty four eighty. Karagma, a stamp imprinted mark, a mark stamp on the foot on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the, uh, the anti Hamashiach. All right. The mark branded upon horses, thing carved. When you're carving something, you're, you're cutting it. All right, you're cutting it. It's like when, you know, these heathens carve their turkey on Thanksgiving. What are they doing? They're taking that blade to the breast of the turkey and they're carving through it. Sculpture, graven work, idolatrous images. So this thing that uh, Esau Edom is coming with is going to be a, a, a carved, a cutting inside of your flesh, whether it's in your forehead or whether it's in your hand. All right, and that's what we're warning our people about because there is a punishment, okay, for our people that take it. This is Revelation 14 and um, and 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, all right, I'll read it in NLT. Revelation 14 and 9. Then a third angel followed them, shouting, Anyone who worshiped the beast, which is, uh, you know, Esau, Edom, um, you know, his, uh, his 
uh, his philosophy, his doctrines that, you know, the ancient Roman Empire coming back, okay, establishing the NWO, all right, his uh, his uh, agendas, man, all right, you, you, you are down with it, okay? He says, anyone who worships the, be the beast in his statue or who accepts his M-A-R-K on the forehead or hand, right, that see hip must drink of the wine of God's anger. It has been poured full strength into God's cup of wrath, and they will be tormented with fire and burning sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and the Lamb. All right, so in this upcoming World War III, okay, um, the chariots are going to return. All right, and they're going to beam up the elect, and they're going to destroy two thirds of our people that sided with uh, Esau Edom. Because the scriptures say, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. There is a wicked on the earth, man, and he's going to bring this thing to try to uh, to try to um, eliminate you Israelites by process eliminations, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. Now we're going to end off on this. Oh, there's I mean, so many, man. I'm going to try to get them quick. Um, but the scriptures say that the Lord's men are going to eat. I want to get that real fast. So we're not going to have to uh, uh, be partakers of uh, that sea hip, man. The Lord's going to provide. All right. Let's see here. I'll get an NLT again. Isaiah 65 and uh, 12, 13. So therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. My servants will eat, but ye, but you will starve. My servants will drink, but ye, but you shall be, will be thirsty. My servants will rejoice, but you will be sad and ashamed. The ones that sided with Esau, eat them. All right, and took that, uh, that sea hip. It says, my servants will sing for joy, but you will cry and sorrow and despair. That's right. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of our people who side with this devil, man, who believes in, um, uh, um, this man pseudoscience, okay, it's false way. And guess what? We're gonna end off um, um Revelation three and ten. It says, because this is gonna try everyone, right? This is going to try everyone. I'm reading it in the King James Version. I'm reading NLT, Revelation 3 and 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which is this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He held on to it. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Now, temptation is to do something wrong. All right? And what's the wrong? Taking that sea hip. Going down to those, those, those whatever uh, lines they have, whether it's at your local uh, tattoo place or, you know, drugstore, Walmart, or wherever. Okay, wherever they have those lines at, you know, this this time is going to tempt everyone. That's why we have to constantly pray that the Yahweh Shem Shai protects us and our minds and our bodies through in our spirit during that time. Okay, to prevent us from taking that, it says, "Which shall come upon all the world to try them to dwell upon the earth." In the NLT, because you have obeyed my commandment to pres to preserve. I will protect you from the great time of testing. And that's why we go through certain tests, trials, tribulations now to prepare us for that great day. All right. We got to understand that the things we go through is to make us hard. For this upcoming test that we have. It says that will come upon the whole world to test those who belong to this world. All right. So just something to consider, Israel, you know, um, you know, this thing is coming. But let's pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh keeps the spirit on the hopeful elect to resist that thing and trust in him. Because, you know, that's, that's why scripture tells us to watch and pray, because this, this thing is getting ready to come. All right. The Lord wants us to edify, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. The Barnish, our Apostle, is a great millstone. Shalom.